exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar, and as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, okay, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, Razor. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialist, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you out. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Try to establish that jab. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those aren't fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times at the end of the night. Got a little experience with that. Yes, huh? I do. A little bit. Horrible. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, 
Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Nice stick with the right hand. Going orthodox now. Big body kick. Beautiful punch. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice kick. Wow. Just misses there with the left. Ooh, big shot land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Switching stances here. Oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Nice straight right lands. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. is blocked. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Oh, man, it ain't to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Just missed with the left there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And he switches his stance yet again. As they continue to exchange. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Effective strike there by Lee. Oh, nice. He got him. Oh, nice kick to the head. Nice right hand. He blocks the punch. Uh, uh. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. He had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Second round here. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice defense there. Huge block. 
throwing that jab, no good. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, start, he'll change his stance. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Lee gets hit with that hook shot there. He's got to be careful to not allow the offense to follow up here. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Beautiful kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good. Just misses with the jab. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. And that left hook landed on the button. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Well, he misses with the left punch there. Counter left. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. That strike blocked by Lee. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, nice. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Great punch. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Liver kick. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target, as it has on so many occasions tonight. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, big left hand there. Back to the body shots now, that one blocked. Misses with the left hook. Nice. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Lee's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Strong straight left there. Just misses with the jab there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and then. Whoa! He's out! Stop, stop, stop. He got him! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 15 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Razor! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.